Hi guys, it's Tani and welcome back to my channel. Now, um, excuse the very casual outfit today. You know, it's just that awkward time of year where it's between Christmas and New Year. You don't know what day it is. You don't know what you're doing. I have just had the most full on, full on year to be honest. So hence the pajamas. <laughs> I hope everyone had a really nice Christmas this year. I know this year in particular, it would have been hard for a lot of people being away from fam from family or friends, but I hope um, most of you have been able to enjoy your Christmas as much as possible. I just wanted to make a video because I have received some very generous gifts this year. And I also found a few bargains in the Boxing Day sales as well. So. I thought first half I can show you what I got for Christmas and then second half I can show you what I purchased in the Boxing Day sales. Just to give a little bit of a breakdown on Christmas uh, with my family, we um, don't really do presents anymore. Well, we do, but we do Secret Santa. How it works with us is we do Secret Santa in my immediate family and then we do Secret Santa in the extended family as well. So basically I buy two presents um, each year for, so one for someone in my family and one for someone in my extended family and that's it. <laughs> so that way there's a lot of pressure put off all of us when it comes to this time of year. Um, and we can have a bit more emphasis on, uh, I suppose, socializing and being with family. What I might do first is start with just a little present that my Oma got me. Now, um, my, or well, actually my Oma and Opa. Now, my grandparents are beautiful people and they did not get me for Secret Santa this year, but they uh, kindly got me just a nice little gift. It came in a little bag like this and it says to warm your toes while you study. <laughs> so they just got me the cutest pair of slippers which look like this. So uh, as most of you would know I just started um, enrolled nursing. So I think my grandma is very excited for me so she's got me some little slippers to keep my toes warm. Next up I'll show you what I got from dad. Dad actually got me a few different things. Um, he has been very generous and got me a Pandora gift card. Also, I actually really like the look of this book. So he's got me the 100 favorite Bible verses. Um, I haven't even had a chance to really open it yet, but there's just a few really nice um, Bible verses in there. I have a pencil case, which is totally my style. Some lollies. Also, he got me a book. It is called The Most Powerful You, Seven Brave Brave Paths to Building the Career of Your Dreams. Actually, I'm really excited to read this one as well. Next up, we have probably one of my favorite presents. I have no idea why, but it, I think, because I've always wanted something from Aesop. So, um, I received this from my Uncle Malcolm, and he always gives the most generous gifts. So he gave me from Aesop. I have here the Geranium Leaf Body Balm. That sounds beautiful. And also Body Cleansing Slab. So this must be, I love how they call it a slab. Oh, that smells so good. I've always wanted something from Aesop, but I think it's just one of those things that you don't need, so I don't buy it, but I've always wanted it. Um, and then he also got me from Lokatan a perfumed soap and then a hand cream as well. I love getting body um, gifts like that because it's just stuff that I don't spend money on. So I'm super grateful for those from my Uncle Malcolm. Also from my auntie. This is from my dad's side, by the way. Um, so we don't do the Secret Santa on that side. I got a bath bomb from my auntie Kathy and her husband Steve. I just love this little package it comes in. And then also some lint chocolates in strawberries and cream flavor. I cannot wait to devour those. So Christmas day, um, my secret Santa um, was Zara and Zara hit the nail on the head this year. Um, so first thing she got me is a pillow spray in lavender. I have never used a pillow spray before, but they intrigue me so much and look how cute that bottle is. 
So I am actually really excited to use that one. She also got me Flavors of Absolute, probably the best gift you could give me. So, because I've never actually tried flavored vodka, so I am actually really intrigued to see how this goes down. And it also has suggestions on the back with what to mix it with, which is going to be handy. She also got me this card game. It's called For the Girls. It's from the creators of um, What Do You Meme and I think Cards Against Humanity and a few other ones of those types of games. And we played it last night and it is so much fun. It's a little bit out there, like some of the questions, so I probably wouldn't play it with your family, but it's one of those really fun games that gets everyone laughing, so I am really keen to play this with some of my friends as well. And then the last present I got is my favourite. And okay, so this is from my mum, so my mum had me in the family, immediate family secret Santa. So, as you can see, she got me a picnic set and rug. I have been wanting a picnic basket for a few months now and I didn't even realize I was dropping hints but I was talking about a picnic, getting a picnic basket all the time and she, she just went out and bought me one which was amazing. But, but the best part is she actually filled it with all these different things. So firstly she got me a big picnic rug, which will come in handy. Then she's also got me these like um, uh, cutlery sets and like dinner sets. She also got me these little secret garden um, cups, which look so cute. I can't wait to use them. Um, there is some ice packs, which will definitely come in handy. Some cutlery. Looks a little bit more sturdy, so good for chopping. Um, the cutest little chopping board. Look how cute this is. It's like the size of my head. <laughs> um, and probably my favourite is the um, these Oasis wine tumblers. Look at them. So perfect for um, travelling. Can't really hold up this picnic basket very well, but I'll see if... Oh yeah, it's super light. So it's actually like a cooler bag on the inside, so it does actually zip up and then you've got the handle on top. So it's super practical, but it also looks really cute. So um, A++ plus plus for that one. So I am super happy about this. And now moving on to what I purchased on Boxing Day. First thing I purchased um, before my shift started, I went straight up to the shoe department and got myself some new work shoes. So these are just Skechers. Um, if you have tried Skechers before, you will know they are the comfiest shoes ever. Um, particularly being in retail, you want shoes that are going to be very comfortable to wear because you're going to be on your feet all day. Um, and then I went straight to Mecca. So Mecca, if you don't get there like as soon as the store opens, you are not going to get any of the good buys. I think I went over like three times to see what they had um, and I kept going, oh, I don't need that. Oh, but it's so cheap. Like, oh. So luckily, because I started at 7 a.m., it meant that I was there bright and early. So um, I got basically first pick at everything that they had. First thing that I got was the, what's it called? The Mecca Cosmetica Swept Away Ultimate Makeup Brush brush edit and travel bag. So it looks like this here. So it comes with... Uh, I think it's five different makeup brushes. Okay, so you get a little travel pouch. And I really just love the travel pouch. I think it's great for um, traveling with your brushes. But Me Mecca Cosmetical brushes are really, really nice. Um, this was, I think it was 50% off. So this came down to $40, I believe. Yes, this was $40. And that was, I think it was $80 full price. So that was an awesome buy. Next, I also picked up the Laura Mercier Mini Caviar. I feel like caviar isn't how I pronounce it, but who knows? Um, stick collection. So these are for um, cream eyeshadows and they are just the most beautiful things I have ever tried. I was swatching them on the back of my hand 
Um, this was a pack I actually went back for because my colleague was like, these are so good, you have to get them. So um, I went back and I purchased these. So I'm actually really glad because they were really cheap. They were down to $30. I think, again, that was half price, so I'm pretty sure they were $60 to begin with. I also actually purchased so the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Quad. So this was one, I ummed and art about it, but I just knew it would sell out. Like, so I didn't want to leave it behind and regret it. And I'm so glad that I got it. So this is normally $90 and it came down to $45. And there is just a quad of four different blushes in there. The colors are just beautiful. And Hourglass is one of those brands that like, you just can't go wrong with and it's normally so expensive so i just had i had to get it so yeah that was everything i got from mecca i purchased just two um nail polishes so i just got a soft pink shade and then a top coat as well i've never been a nail person but i just thought it'd be nice to have like one nude color for every now and then um so that was also on sale i think they were 25 percent off opi in maya that brings us to the end of this video. Um, I really hope that you have enjoyed watching me show you what I got for Christmas this year and show you what deals I picked up in the Boxing Day sales. As always, I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are. Um, please remember to like and subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!